Hello and welcome at the 10th React Native Community Krakow Meetup here at Software Mansion. My name is Kasper, and I'll be our um, presenter for today, your host for today. First things first, let's start with some organizational stuff. You can find snacks, beers, and some non-alcoholic beverages right behind my back in the kitchen. You are free to grab anything you want from there. Uh, you can do it right now because there will be no or very short breaks between the talks. Uh, next, the toilets are um, behind, the, behind the elevators outside of the office. You need to leave the office space uh, to get to the toilet. I think the doors are open at all times, so uh, it's okay. And after the presentations, uh, there will be pizza for you guys. We are always looking for speakers for this type of events. Uh, if you have anything to share in um, React and React Native world, uh, please uh, contact us either directly to Paulina, our event manager, uh, there is an address, or uh, you can DM us at Twitter, um, at Software Mansion. The agenda for today, we have uh, two amazing speakers, two amazing presentations. Uh, the first one will be concluded by Wojtek Stanisz, our employee. Get creative with your mobile apps. He'll try to motivate us a little bit more to put some heart and effort uh, into your apps. Uh, the second one uh, will be made by Daniel, by Daniel Grechto from the Village Group. He will try to present to us the new and very interesting Explorator library, which is a new and innovative way of doing navigation uh, in React Native. Very interesting stuff. We have this uh, very long ongoing tradition of starting this type of meetup with a short summary of what's new and interesting in React Native world. So I would start with the most recent one. Um, two days ago, a new Expo SDK version uh, dropped, and it comes with the newest and the stable version of React Native. Also, it features a stable version of Expo modules. Expo modules is a way for developers uh, to create uh, with Swift and Kotlin libraries that work both on Expo and React Native out of the box, or nearly out of the box. Uh, with this change, there are three new libraries that support Fabric. That's Linear Gradient, AV, and Camera. But the change that I'm the most excited about is the Hermes engine on um, iOS in Expo Go. That will uh, make it possible to use Chrome DevTools um, with Expo Go without ejecting the app. And it's very easy to configure uh, because the JSC that's currently using, it's still the default. You need to change it in your configuration with JS Engine Hermes here on the bottom. Very exciting. Uh, next, breaking news in React Native, quite literally, because in, uh, <laughs> Last Friday, there was a new release of Release Candidate, and that um, caused a lot of troubles, uh, slightly saying. So the React Native team um, did some amazing stuff, which kind of broke all of the Android builds two years to the past. So there was an idea, because in the past, all the Android code in React Native was distributed via NPM and downloaded to your machine. This was fine, but it was kind of slow with the new architecture. The solution to that would be to compile this code and upload it to uh, another repository, which is made directly for that, Maven repository. So then on the Maven, you would have to download just pre-compiled code and use it as it is. It's a good solution. This is, this is the solution for this problem. Unless you have a bug, unless you have a nasty bug, uh, can you see it? Yeah, it's the plus uh, at the end. So this line of config says, use the newest version of React Native Android. But when it was on your machine, it was fine. It was working for years and years. But the moment uh, React Native team uploaded a uh, com Facebook React React Native library to Maven. Uh, it resulted in uh, fetching every to every single version the newest version, which uh, broke every single build 
um, in the world. It's uh, all good now, it's fixed, it, it's good. Uh, next one, uh, very exciting stuff, which I will just sneak peek to you. Uh, Expert Router will be having a presentation that's for that today, so I be, won't be uh, talking about that um, just yet. Next one, a um, month ago in the reanimated library, there is an addition of use animated keyboard hook, which makes it very easy to uh, make animations based on the position of the keyboard. And that's available since 2.10 version of reanimated. Shared element transition. Uh, we've um, added a tweet about um, that we are working on shared element transition API in reanimated and screens. That's a very desirable thing to have in your app because you can make amazing transitions with it. Uh, shared element transition is an API that you can see an element of you that's transitioning, that's animating between two different screens. So it looks kind of nice in it. And last but not least, uh, AppJS Conf is back. It's back at May. Um, so write that in your calendar. We are very happy to see you uh, in May as well.